Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this iPad home screen step by step. Before we begin, I'll be unboxing some new accessories for my iPad. These goodies were sent to me by Banks. They are a tech accessories and lifestyle brand known for their well-designed, high-quality products. The first one I got is the Infinity Basic Tablet Stand, compatible with a 5 to 13 inches iPad or iPhone. I like that it's adjustable and can be folded when you're not using it. It's also designed to prevent your iPad from overheating. Here where your iPad sits is lined with a rubber material so it won't scratch your iPad. I also find the rotating feature pretty unique which iPad stands generally do not have. The next one is an Apple Pencil alternative. It looks just like the Apple Pencil second generation and also comes with two replacement tips. This pen charges magnetically and you can see the battery level through the widget just like the Apple Pencil. I'd highly recommend it to anyone who does note taking mostly on their iPad but looking for a more affordable Apple Pencil alternative. The only con is it doesn't provide pressure sensitivity so it might be lacking for those who draw or illustrate on the iPad. I also got the 6-in-1 cleaning brush which comes in very handy for cleaning my devices. It's also the size of a credit card so it's definitely very compact and lightweight. We are going to be using some of the new emojis for the icons, so make sure your iPad is updated to the latest iPad OS 16.4. And here's the list of the apps that we are going to be using today. I'm gonna quickly remove all the previous widgets from my home screen first. Now we are gonna change the wallpaper. You can find the wallpaper and widget images that I'm gonna be using on my Pinterest, which I'll link in the description below as usual. To download an image of Pinterest, tap on the three dots icon and tap download image. Now let's go back to photos and set our new wallpaper. You may adjust how the wallpaper sits on the screen however you'd prefer but I'm just gonna set mine as it is. Then let's move on to the widget. The first app I'll be using to create custom widget is Widgetsmith. It comes with small, medium, large and extra large widgets. Now head to my Pinterest to download the image and under the large widgets category, tap add large widget. Select photo and then tap on the photo you want to use. If the photo is not nicely centered, feel free to adjust it a little bit. You can also rename the widget if you want. Now onto the home screen, tap and hold your screen until the apps start to jiggle. You'll see a list of apps that you can add to your home screen as widgets. You can scroll down to the bottom to find Widgetsmith or you can type Widgetsmith in the search bar. Now we're gonna select large widget to add the widget we just made. If you wanna switch to another large widget, just tap on it once to change the widget. I'm just gonna make the rest of the photo widgets in small and medium sizes. The steps will be the same as they were when we made the large widget, except they're just gonna be in different sizes. Next, we'll be making the calendar widget again using Widgetsmith. So we're gonna add a medium widget, then we wanna scroll down and select the day widget under the date category. Tap on theme and you'll see a variety of pre-made designs that you can choose from. I'm gonna choose this font called New York since the widgets I use have a pretty similar typeface. And to change the font color, tap on tint, scroll down the list, and at the bottom you'll see custom. Here you can slide the color picker around to pick a color. And 
here's the list of the hex color codes I'll be using for this widget. Feel free to screenshot this to help you customize your widget later. Once you pasted the code, tap update and back. Now tap border and do the same steps to change the border color. Once you're done, tap back and save. Here I'm adding the calendar widget we just made to the home screen. This final widget is from MD Final. Unfortunately, this particular widget requires a one-time fee. I'm gonna use the design called Vibe, and here I am adding the widget to the home screen. Now I'm gonna show you how to use this smart stack widget. This Pixel Boy widget is from Handy. Again, unfortunately, this music player widget requires a one-time fee. It comes in black and white and supports Apple Music and Spotify. So when you play a song on either app, it will show up on the widget in Pixel Arts. Now I'm going to drag this widget on top of the other large widget I have to create a smart stack. If you tap once on the stack, you'll see the options for smart rotate which automatically cycles through widgets in the stack. And widget suggestions where apps you already use can automatically appear in your smart stack at the right time based on your past activity. If you don't want those features, you can just turn them off. Now I'm going to make the next widget open the app and tap on add list. You can name and customize the icon and color for the list. Then you just type whatever you want to add to it. For example, you can make a to-do list, positive affirmations, or just reminders for yourself. Once you're done adding things to your list, go back to the home screen to add the reminders widget and choose the medium-sized one. Tap on it once to edit the widget and choose the list you just created. Then I'm gonna drag it on top of the other widget to create another smart stack. Now let's move on to creating app shortcuts. All of these shortcuts are created using the emojis on your iPad. To make these shortcuts, open the Fonto app. Tap on the camera icon to add a plain image. Choose the plain white background and on the top right, tap on the share icon to use it. Tap on your screen once to add a text. Here I'm adding the emoji I want to use. You can adjust how it sits and resize it as well. And to make sure the emoji is nicely centered, tap on move and tap on these two. Once you're done, tap the share icon on the bottom right to save the image. Tap again on the emoji to change it to the next one. Head to the shortcuts app and tap on the plus sign to add one. Choose open app and select the app you want to create a shortcut for. Then tap on the open app right here and tap add to home screen. Now you get to rename the shortcut and change its icon. Again, you can adjust how it sits but it looks pretty good to me so I'll just leave it as it is. Once you're done, tap use and add it to your home screen. Unfortunately, you'd have to do the same steps for each app you want to create a shortcut for, so it's gonna take some time to finish. Once you're done creating app shortcuts for the main page, let's move on to the dock. All of the photos for these app shortcuts are taken off Pinterest. Again, you can find these icons on my Pinterest along with other widget photos. To create these shortcuts, the steps are gonna be the same just like how we made the emoji icon shortcuts. Shortcuts to however you prefer. If you wonder why my icons look slightly different, that's because I use large icon apps on my home screen. To change the appearance, head to settings and tap on home screen and multitasking and turn on use large app icons. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you won't miss my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.